Oh, I'm going to troubleshoot uh, these two BL Heli uh, 20 amp ESCs. Um, what I have right now is I have motors 1, 2, 3, and 4, just to give you guys some orientation. Um, the ESCs uh, from motors 2 and 4 are right here, and they are soldered up to motors 1 and 3. Um, these ESCs are placed in the nays channels 1 and 3. And I have base flight open and connected via USB. I'm just going to click connect on that real quick. And I know I should have my props off, um, but I need to be able to show you guys what's spinning and what's not. Um, so what I believe is going to happen now is uh, since these two ESCs are bad, I'm going to prove that all the channels on my nays work and uh, these two motors are functional when you hook good ESCs up to them. So I am going to first um, power up the quad and then I'm going to go to the motor testing mode in uh, base flight and give it a check and I'm just going to slowly raise the master and see which props then. All right, those two props one and three are spinning, which makes perfect sense because two and four don't even have ESCs hooked up to them. They're not, they're not hooked up anything, so those wires are all free. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch channels. I'm going to move these two ESCs from channels one and three to channels two and four to show you that all the channels on my A's are working correctly. So I'm actually going to shut this down first. Alright, so now those are on I guess you can't really see that with the glare in there, but those are now on channels 2 and 4. So again, I'll connect on base flight, power it up, go into motor testing, raise the master, I raise, can raise them individually as well. That wasn't good. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to solder um, the two ESCs that I believe are not working to these two motors. Since I've proven that all the motors and all the channels work, uh, the only thing we're going to switch out are the ESCs, and uh, that will prove that the ESCs are the problem. And then we'll try to identify what the problem is with the ESCs. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, so what I've done since I was gone is um, I have taken the to what I believe to be faulty ESCs right here and um, soldered them to motors 1 and 3. The ESCs I had connected to motors 1 and 3 are now right here disconnected in their rightful positions at motors 2 and 4. Um, I have soldered them and I've used masking tape to keep the wires apart because I didn't use any uh, shrink wrap because I'm just going to undo these in a second anyways. Um, so now I'm going to try and, and get these motors to spin. Um, so I have to hooked up in base flight. I'll click connect and I'll power it up. Go into motor testing and slowly raise that up and see what happens. Alright, so you can't really tell very well but they're not making full that's full throttle, and they're not actually making full rev, rev, rev resolutions. Take throttle down. Um, they are pretty hot already. Uh, the motors have gained a lot of temperature, which is not good. I mean, that was just a few seconds, uh, mostly a, a, f a half throttle, and then and then raised to full throttle, um, and they make that that terrible whining noise. Uh, so why? What's what's going on here? Let's troubleshoot this. Um, first off, I want to make sure that I have uh, voltage to the ESCs. 
<clears throat> so um, I have cut back the um, the shrink wrap uh, on the ESC just a tad, um, and I'm going to see what my volts um, going to that are. And this is coming right off the power distribution board. If I can get good contact, which I cannot without risk of shorting it out. Hold on a second. Set it down. There we go. 11.8 volts when I actually get good contact on it. Yep. All right, so that one's getting power to it. <clears throat> um, let's check this one. I'm not getting good contact on there. I'm going to have to get it pressed down again. Yeah. Again, that came up to voltage. Um, I already proved that all of the channels work from the nays. Um, the voltage is there. I don't. I don't know why the motors don't spin. My solders are solid. I can take them, twist them, bend them. I don't know what the deal is. So next, I'm going to try to um, move them out real quick. So I'm going to pull the power off. Disconnect it from the USB, and we're just gonna make sure nothing shorted out. So again, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing. And when my, I don't know if you probably can't hear hear that. When I get contact, my uh, multimeter lets me know with the little shrieking siren that you probably can barely hear when it shorts. So my negative and positive terminals do not short. The two ground terminals probably should short. I don't know. The signal ground and the main power ground should probably short out. And it, indeed they do. Let's check the other one. Yeah, the DSC is pretty hot. Okay, so... No short. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's, it's crossed a little bit there. All right, nothing between the positive and negative terminals coming from the power distribution board. The um, signal ground and the battery ground from the power distribution board do short out. That makes